Good evening, Mike. No doubt you were hoping that this would be a quiet and uneventful affair here this evening. However, we could not leave your achievements as a carry footballer or goal without some recognition from your peers. Over the course of this DVD, you will hear from some of your former teammates as well as some of your former mentors. Complete footballer. Could play any place on, 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 on the field, in my opinion, from 1 to 15. And I think that's one of the biggest. Uh, Almost that you could say about any for that ever wore a carry jersey, and he, he, he was one of maybe 15 to 20 people in, in, in the footballing career that I had that could actually do that. Um, he, he, he shone through every year that we've seen him, and uh, he just happened to have an amazing career with Kerry, and um, we're, we're, we were all lucky to have Mike Mack and Kerry, I think. You don't come across a Mike McCarthy every day like in there. Just uh, a great footballer who, who, who never really, I suppose, got the at the praise that he deserved and uh, it's only now that he is retired and people realise uh, what a great man he was and what a big loss he is to Kelly football. Particularly in 2009 he was, he was brought back and what a difference it made when, when he did. Well, I remember that he played a lot of very, very good football for Kerry. He did reach an all Ireland minor final way back, it could be around uh, 1996. And when you see a minor team, you're always wondering how many of them will make seniors. Sometimes even teams that win the All-Ireland, not that many seniors come from them. But Mike had the look of a senior from the first time I saw him. Well, I saw him as an under-21 player, maybe two years later, winning an All-Ireland. And he definitely had all the signs of a player that was going to make it. Number one, he was strong. He had a great sense of position. But above all, he was a footballer, a sort of a natural footballer. It was here you came as a young boy to learn your craft, enjoy yourself in the way all young people who take up sport do. You might be the quietest boy in the pitch, Mike, but you stand out a mile. It's too early to say how good though. Many a promising player at underage level has never fulfilled their potential, however the signs are very encouraging for you. Then. At 12 years of age, you make the big leap down here to the senior pitch at under 14 level. Again, your promise is still shining through. A county minor league medal after victory over Austin Stacks in that memorable final in Tralee is one of the main highlights. And then we follow that in 1997 with a county intermediate title after victory over Curr in the final as part of that all-conquering Kilcommon senior team of that year. Then. Kerry recognition finally comes in 1998 with an All-Ireland Under-21 medal. It is also the year that you are first drafted into the senior panel. What do they make of this quiet buy from Gertnatona? Probably best task one of the selectors at the time. Watching him with the, with the, with the Kerry Under-21s, uh, he was outstanding at, uh, at cornerback. Like, you know, I mean, his whole demeanour and the way he could read the game, uh, good hands, uh, could tackle a man without fouling. Uh, gave some tremendous displays in that particular uh, in that particular position. Like you know, so straight away, I, I remember going to party here and saying like you know that uh, there was a guy here that was coming up as a, as a, as a very solid, solid cornerback. Like you know, and uh, I knew at the time as well that a few of the lads that had been playing there from '97 and that and that era were, were coming at the end of their time. Like you know, so. It was only, only natural progression from actually coming to the Kelly Panda that with the point of time, you know. Your debut year in 1999 ended in a miserable monster final up in Parky Quave to the old enemy. However, it's in the millennium year that you start to shine and make an impact not just on the county but indeed the country at large. These guys haven't forgotten your match saving intervention in the draw in All Ireland final that year. Mike was fantastic that year, um, playing cornerback, and he, he was it was great to play alongside him. And uh, you know, Mike Castle was in the other corner for the final, and I think in the replay we I think we held the corner forward line scoreless, and Mike was marking Der Derek Savage the same day, and uh, you know, like he was a, he was an, a, a lively fella, you know, and uh, he, he kept him he kept him well 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 well, well at bay, and you know, I suppose uh, my 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 favorite memory I suppose of of the drawn game was Mike that time when he went in for a split second Derek actually lost him with a quick uh, sideline ball and yeah, I say it was one of the last kicks of the game Mike with, with, with his good pace got the, had, had his natural ability of getting, he got himself back into the right position and just put Derek Savage off and off that he kicked the ball into the goalie's hands you know, if Mike didn't get back 
there's no doubt there he would have put the ball over the bar and the game was over like you know so it was a, it was a great master stroke to get back to where he was to, and it was a great piece of defending despite your newfound recognition countrywide you still haven't forgotten your roots here in Kilcommon and how can we forget your contribution in this next clip it's the October Bank Holiday weekend in 2002 Kilcommon are in a senior county championship semi-final against Stan Gweldon, the reigning champions Few give us any chance against the Drahara Koshe, McGarrett, Algus Okaneda. But Mike, you above anyone else, beg to differ that day. <laughs> When Mike was playing with his club, I mean, I suppose you'd see it more for his club. I mean, he was capable of getting goals and points. And well, you know, it, it came very naturally to him. It came very easy to him. Sadly, Mike, that final was a day to forget. However, there is one saving grace the following year. With no Cairns or Ahlis representative on the team, you were nominated Kerry captain in 2003 and managed to lift the Munster title after victory against Limerick in the final in Fitzgerald Stadium. Historians will record that day as probably the only time you gave a speech in front of 35,000 people. My colleagues in the media would certainly give anything for a copy of that speech. That brings us to our next subject, your quiet, shy demeanour. We all know you to be a quiet man in public, but what are you like in private, away from all the hoo ha ha? Uh, Mike, as you said, Mike would come across um, as was to the public as a very quiet, introvert kind of guy, and uh, you know. But I think once you get to know Mike, he's a he's a great character, and uh, he's 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 full of development and legarding as well. <laughs> there's a there's a good there's a the great fun side to, to Mike Mack as well, and I suppose he's more affectionately known as Zizou Zidane in, in the Kerry camp, and <laughs> I suppose the, the, the physical attributes and, and his ability in the field, I suppose, would have, would have uh, set, set that nickname on him. But in fairness, he's a great guy, and over the years, I suppose, I got to know him better than a lot of the Kerry players in the sense that we were obviously after games, you'd go out and, and socialise afterwards, and you know, a lot of these Kerry players would have gone out in Killarney, but you know, you couldn't have gone out with better company. He was similar to Mike, he was a quite enough guy, but at the same time, he, he'd get on with everyone and he'd be able to mix and have the fun and crack with things, which was important. Um, he he was, uh, I think guys looked up to him in, in some ways, you know, and certainly, I suppose, um, because he was so successful in what he'd done in the game, you know, and especially when he came back, you know, guys were delighted to see him back, and I think Kerry, Kerry benefited from having Mike Mack back and um, became a better team when he did come back. And um, certainly he was he was he was a very likable character and um, uh, with, with fantastic talent and guys appreciated that I think. So, was that to be it? Rumours abounded about a comeback over the next two years, but they came to nothing. Let's fast forward to 2009. Kerry are just after losing the Munster semi-final replay to Cork above a Parky Cueve. All this is of little concern to you though, Mike, as you're sitting at home relaxing after Kilcumber have lost the Senior Club Championship semi-final against Artford that day. However, the phone rings, and it's that same guy who's been running you all year about a comeback, and in what you describe yourself as a weak moment, you eventually say, yes. On. When we got, you know, in the Munster final, we got beaten by Cork. I just felt that the team needed a lift, and, and you know, I remember telling some of the players that Mike Mack was coming back, and you could, you could see visibly in their voices how much it meant to them because, you know, I just felt he was a wasted, a wasted talent. You know, he was sitting above and kill come and playing a bit of soccer or whatever he was doing. You know, he was playing a bit of club football, but um, I had seen him. Then I went to see him in a championship game, and I felt he was as good as ever. And I thought the way he could read the game that, that he could play centre back because. That's the big thing you have to be able to do there. You have to be able to not lone mark your man, but read the play as well, and maybe give a bit of cover back in front of the full back line. He did all he did all of those things for us that, that uh, for the rest of the season. If you were to put a figure on the amount of credit you spent between phone calls and text messages, <laughs> then what would it be? Well, whatever it was, anyway, it was well worth it. I tell you, he paid us back. He paid us back big time. Uh, you know, especially the game up in. In Tullamore, we were in big trouble against against Antrim. Ten minutes into the second half, we were two points down and playing against the wind. And I think, you know, for the first time in my life, I saw Mike Mack, you know, really becoming vocal and being a real driving force. And uh, he took that game by the scruff of the neck, and made a few driving runs into the heart of the 
the answer from defence and, 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 and I think fellas took their inspiration from that and we drove on and the rest is history. But he gave us an injection that uh, helped push us on to our own glory that year, you know, so it was disappointing to hear him go in 2006, but um, again, we were, we were absolutely all delighted to see him come back in 2009. Yeah, well, I was actually surprised at the end that he did go back, I suppose, from a three-year period out. Um, I was surprised that he did go back from speaking to the guy. I know he was kind of undecided, but at that stage, there was a, there was a, 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 a Michal Jr. was after arriving as well, and he was after getting married. But, you know, that might have been the, 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 the <laughs> reason why he really did come out, and I suppose... Mike hasn't done too many articles over his lifetime, and I suppose the one article he did, I suppose one of his driving forces was his son, and you know it was probably one of the reasons what really drove him to go back, and thank and thank God for that as well, like you know, because uh, in fairness, when he did come back, he 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 was he he made such a difference in in the qualifying runs that year, and uh, you know I suppose. The good thing that Mike had was that he was in great shape as well in 2009 and he didn't have a huge amount of decline when he came back in with Kerry and uh, he, he, his fitness levels were quite high. We had played him, I think, in the start of that year in uh, in just in a, in a Super League game and Mike was just flying up and down the field and that was a, that was in a January, February uh, uh, period in the year. He was, there was talk about him coming back but I remember the night he actually came back, there was it was the same. Mike Mackey was in behind the goals, kicking out the ball, <laughs> and as if nothing had happened, you know. But he he um he gave he gave Kerry a huge he gave us a huge kind of it. I suppose it's understated really. He gave us a huge boost that year because the fact that you could bring in the likes of Mike McCarthy, who was still playing excellent football for his club, but the fact that we had a new player, like virtually buying a new player, you know what I mean? You you would, and this guy was proven class and quality, you know. And it was it was a great boost, and I think he he showed it then when he came back, and I'm sure against against the Antrim game and you know every game he came he got better and better as it went on you know I suppose how big a factor do you think it was in Kerry's on Iron victory that year it was crucial it was crucial to be fair um, obviously you know a lot of people t talk about Ty Kennelly's input, input and his, his but for me I suppose Mike McCarthy was probably every bit if not more of a because of the quality you were getting as well what he brought to the table you know so and he showed it again in the final I mean like he, he was outstanding in the other final against Cork that year you know he was in all the games, really, I suppose, leading up to the final as well, you know, the, the semi final. He just, it's just like a, he knew his life, really, you know. Especially from the entrance game on, when he was brought out the field and and used as a link man between wing back and 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 the and the forwards, and you know, he, he from the second half on from that game, I think he really showed not only Kerry but all Ireland. Uh, what a fantastic natural footballer he was. It's not all plain sailing at the start, though. Hanging on for victory against Langford. Dare we mention Sly Gauntry and Dermot Murphy's heroics. Some are starting to wonder whether the comeback was actually a mistake. Their silence for a week though after a solid display against Antrim before they are well and truly muzzled within 60 seconds of the start of the All-Ireland quarter-final against the Dubs on the August Bank Holiday Monday.